gift giving season is right around the corner, so in that spirit, I wanted to give a gift right now today so it doesn't get lost in the hustle and bustle of late December. So, hey, Secret Squirrel Daniel, where oh. are you? Oh, there you are. Hey, hey buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey. hey. So, listen, I know I give you a hard time sometimes, but honestly, yeah. it's just it's just for comedic value on the show. It's just we're just having fun, just goofing off a little bit. I want you to know I truly appreciate your hard work on the show. Thanks, I truly man. do. And so, this is for you. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, that's for you. You Go got ahead. me this? I did indeed. Go oh, ahead. Open I it up. Can't wait. <gasps> Look at what's in this box. It's a giant plaque. That's right. It says Kenny Galladay 2018 Week 13 Love. This is a real Kenny Galladay made you in love list this he week? He does indeed, Secret oh, Squirrel. Oh, this is so great, Matthew. Oh, you're very That's welcome. amazing. You're welcome. Oh, and there's a card, yeah, too? Yeah, yeah, make sure you read that. Okay, all right, I'll read this card, too. Okay. Wow, look say? at this. Yeah. All right. Dear Daniel. That's, mm -hmm. that's yeah, me. that's you. Yeah. Kenny Galladay is on the love list for me this week because he has a 30.6% target share in his last two games and leads the NFL in targets over the last three weeks. Also, Daniel, still me. With Golden Tate gone and Kerryon Johnson and Marvin Jones injured, Galladay is literally the only talented offensive player left on your Lions, one of the most pathetic organizations in the history of sports, a team cheered on by fans who have to hate themselves by now, as they should. Oh, thank you, Matthew. The way you personalized that at the end, it just, it's so nice of you. Yeah. I, I you mean a lot you, to buddy. me. I oh. love you too, buddy. Oh, oh. I love you so, so much. Absolutely. That was yeah. from the heart for me to that you. That was. That means All a right. lot. Now get out of here. Okay, I'm going to take this right. plaque with me. Yeah, you Wow, bet. this is so cool. I don't really love him. Yeah. Oh, you're still here. That was awkward. All right. But we all know I don't really. Okay. But one receiver I do love this week, Deniston Moore Jr. of the Panthers, better known as DJ Moore to those of us who put him on Loveless. At least five targets in three straight games for DJ Moore. Do you know he ranks third among all pass catchers in yards after catch for reception this season? That big playability should serve him well against a Buccaneers defense that has given up the second most deep completions this year. Hey, I don't care if Devin Funches is active or not this week. Give me the over on DJ Moore's point production of 12.1 in Week 13. Another receiver I expect to beat his ESPN projection this week, Mike Evans in that same game, going against the Carolina Panthers. Hey, everybody, it's me, the Bear of Bad News. I'm a bear and I bring bad news. <laughs> Here's your bad news, Mr. Barry. That little love right there, Mike yep. Evans. Played the Panthers a month ago, one catch, 16 yards. I haven't seen a guy bomb like that since uh, me last night, you know, at the old chuckle dumpster. <laughs> it was brutal. I really need to consider a new career. <laughs> Self-reflecting. <laughs> I get that, Bear. I truly do. Evans didn't produce against the Panthers earlier this year, but don't overthink it. Like, the guy still had 10 targets in that game, right? If, if you take away the Carolina game, he's averaging almost 2.3 fantasy points per target this season. I think he gets close to 10 targets again this Sunday, which would allow him to easily beat his projection of 16.5 fantasy points. All right, fine, whatever. If you don't hate Evans, eh, can you at least talk about some guys you do hate? I'm in a really dark place right now, buddy, and it would really help me to wallow in someone else's negativity. All right. In Happy fact, to do that, okay. Bear. Thank you very much. Way to shuffle on out of there. At the top of the hate list for me this week, Odell Beckham Jr. Look, you're obviously still starting him, okay? But the hate list is all about people I think will fall short of their projection. I don't think he gets to his current ESPN projection of 19.6, right? Odell Beckham hasn't caught more than five passes in three straight games. He's unlikely to go off for a big play against a Bears defense. Let's be honest. Like, I think Beckham falls short of 19.6 because, you know, Eli. How about Stephon Diggs? Still isn't practicing this week. They expect him to play. We'll see what happens. But since week seven, the Patriots, a top six defense against wide receivers in terms of touchdowns and reception percentage. And while the Patriots are prone to giving up plays to the slot, Diggs mostly stays outside. I think he'll see a decent amount of Gilmore again if he's active. Watch the injury reports. He did not practice again on Thursday. Finally, Alshon Jeffrey. You know what? Alshon's target count in the three games since Golden Tate joined the mix? 8-5-3. That is trending in the wrong direction, Secret Squirrel. And in those games, his target share, just 15%. Get this, that ranks 72nd in the NFL over that stretch. So, yeah, Alshon Jeffrey, I don't think he gets to 11.6. He makes the hate list in Week 13. For all the latest fantasy football news and analysis, you can binge watch all the episodes of The Fantasy Show right now on ESPN+. Plus.